everyone i welcome you to another video by legacy is where we are going to talk about the whole issue about genetically modified crops particularly with reference to the genetically modified mustard its uses what is it all about and what are the challenges that india could face for its full implementation all right so there are a lot of confusions misnomers a lot of apprehensions about introduction of these particular crops in the country we also have to logically and rationally look at the requirements for india but also sustainably make any kind of future improvements so keeping that perspective in mind we will understand first what exactly are the benefits of using these gm crops in the first place are they really useful to the extent that we need to put in so much of effort in this discussion firstly these particular crops in today's times when we speak of 21st century of the globe or particularly even for india it is actually helping us in sustainably developing and achieving our objective of zero hunger all right of course this is one of the basic unsaid requirements that any country should fulfill for its people that its people don't die out of starvation out of hunger unfortunately that is a case for a lot of areas or for a lot of districts even today all right some die out of extreme debt and poverty but the basic is they're not able to sustain their family all right so that kind of a problem is something that it is high time that we actually eliminate and do away with the other is besides hunger we are able to we will be able to further move towards addressing their issues of malnutrition now the problem of stunting underweight lot of these issues that people are the children are suffering throughout their life is not just only because of hunger but further the right amount of nutrition is not able to reach both the mothers as definitely the children so that creates a lot of other associated issues which create and further burden the society in terms of medical assistance in terms of employment issues in terms of further poverty so it's a cycle all right so it's very important that we kind of end this cycle right away moreover there is an understanding that gm crops are actually protecting the environment along with increasing the yield so the word here that we have is sustainable where your yield is also increasing at the same time your environmental concerns are also not getting de uh, deprivated all right we are actually having to and one of the reasons why we are able to protect the environment is because we are not having too much of reliance upon usage of chemical pesticides and insecticides all right we are trying to genetically only alter the entire crop the entire yield altogether all right so there is no additional usage of such chemicals and fertilizers it reduces the cost reduces the effort that an individual has to make all right in maintenance all the extra uh, pesticides and chemicals which affects our further let's say our soil and whatever is released into the atmosphere there are a lot of associated such benefits which are there if we introduce gm crops in the country moreover the supporters they basically have said that particularly if we look at gm mustard all right in india it is actually a proof of home grown scientific progress of course we're going to understand this in the rest of the video but the fact that we've been able to do that and the supporters are very very enthusiastic about its introduction in the country if we look at the amount of mustard production that is there in the country all right if we look at the states uh, having the highest number of uh, production uh, in the country are of course uh, states of rajasthan and the least amount of states are also there but there's a good amount of uh, you know kind of cultivation that happens domestically in fact it's one of the most important winter crops which are sown between mid october and late november so it's kind of a late a uh, year uh, end of the year kind of a crop and one of the largest edible oil yielding crop of india edible oil imports are a very high amount in india and we are dependent upon especially the southeast asian nations for a lot of it so there is a huge amount of requirement this is an understanding or this is required for us to even start the uh, discussion that why are we even discussing about mustard in the first place all right 
Now the question arises, what is so special about this hybrid mustard or rather firstly what exactly it is. Now this Thara mustard hybrid which is also called DMH11, alright, it is a genetically modified variant of mustard which has been developed by the Center of Genetic Manipulation of Crop Plants at Delhi University. So it is uh, something that has been indigenously developed and developed as a variety of mustard and particularly by this center which deals with genetic manipulation of crops. Now if we look at hybridization, the concept of hybridization is actually involving two crossly genetically dissimilar plant varieties. All right, that can even be from the same species, not necessarily they have to be from different species, but definitely genetically dissimilar plants and they are being brought together. As far as DMH11 is concerned or, DA, or the GM mustard is concerned, it actually contains these two alien genes, these genetically dissimilar genes, which are together called Bacillus amyloliquifacinius. So here we basically are talking about what this GM mustard is all about. Now the question arises, why is there a need to look upon it? Of course, we've discussed upon its importance, its production and our dependence. But more so, if we look at the flower per se in mustard, we have both the female as well as the male reproductive organs together in the plants, making it largely self-pollinating. All right, since the eggs of one plant cannot, of course, be fertilized by the pollen grains from the other. So we actually have very a big amount of limitation in terms of the reproduction and also developing hybrids of this particular plant. Moreover, not just from the uh, ingrained nature and characteristic of the GM mustard, there are some global pressures which are making us look in this direction and something that we feel that might that are expected to actually benefit us. One of this is of course the Ukraine war and particularly this Ukraine war and the background of the COVID uh, crisis have really affected the supply chain and they have pushed the prices of edible oil to very high. All right, so we have basically seen that we have a requirement of it, but because of the disruption of supply chains, the prices have shot up so much that it's pressurizing our imports. In this regard, it creates a requirement for us to look at GM mustard. Now, according to one of the uh, very prominent scholars, the founder director of South Asian Biotechnology Center, Bhagira Chaudhary, he actually makes a statement saying that India is actually a major producer of the Brasilia Junesia, which is a variety of mustard. All right. It has been looking into the questions revolving biosafety and field efficacy of this GM mustard for over 20 years. All right. And this particular technology that is invented that is used for mustard is actually expected to create a much more robust and viable hybridization. So the word is sustainable, the word is viable here. To how long, to how sustainably ensuring food security yet not creating any major concerns. In that sense for the last 20 years this person has been researching and said that it is expected to create a much more robust viable system because this is actually a combination of the Indian mustard variety, which is Varuna or the Barnes line, along with the East European early Hira 2, a mutant version, which is Barstar. So this kind of combination brings together what we understand as GM mustard today. Now let's look at the benefit of this particular GM mustard. We actually have expecting an increase of 28%. All right, increase over Varuna. We have already seen this kind of an increase as that has been noted by the Indian Council of Agricultural Research. This particular plant is actually extremely suitable, extremely easy in, to go ahead with such hybridization processes. We have to kind of look into our imports of edible oil and basically we can use this to our advantage. The more we have our domestic production, more than production, it's actually productivity, all right, that can be really focused upon. It will hopefully actually reduce our 
imports which is actually amounting to 12 billion dollars on a yearly basis but of course having spoken of all these benefits there are also some issues which are associated with these mustard the first is with regards to the biosafety concerns of these particular crop and within that when we look at what uh, you know concerns there are with regards to environment now gm organisms cross pollinate and their seeds can really travel far and wide to longer distances this particularly has a potential of contaminating both the environment and the ecosystem now that is a bio safety concern that is being raised in terms of how this cross pollination can really affect a lot of these regions moreover if we look at the food chain and groundwater these organisms are basically creating a lot of super weeds and super bugs that actually are very difficult to be killed and can create a lot of toxic poisons these uh, genetically created uh, organisms are such which allows the plants to survive with a lot of these doses of weeds all right so it has much longer deeper and much more multiplier effects in terms of uh, the repercussions that can happen over the gm crops also we have a lot of issues and concerns that the farmers are raising with regards to policy with regards to pricing and how the input cost needs to be rationalized all right because we cannot overburden them in the event of trying to create some amount of self reliance will further create newer problems which have not there uh, in the past so that should not really happen there are a lot of social and economic concerns which are related to technology especially to a particular section of uh, the farmers uh, based out of in punjab and others as well who have really raised a lot of concerns towards introduction of these particular uh, gm modified crops the pesticides industry is the one who is actually pushing it forward uh, in trying to uh, create a lot of these reforms india moreover is actually a signatory of the cartagena protocol so we have our commitment towards biosafety we have our commitment towards ensuring that public don't get affected by introduction of such technological inventions in the food security mechanism so there are some genuine concerns there are some things that have to be factored in but we just have to towards the end look at whether our benefits outweigh our concerns and whether in the long term what possible effects it could have on biosafety on inputs on economic matters all right and that is how we can probably come to a proper conclusion in terms of the long term sustainability of gm mustard so that is all that i have with regards to our understanding of gm mustard the entire product its benefits its effects the its issues which are around it i hope you have benefited from this discussion below we are looking forward to many more such gm crops hopefully which will get clearance and approval if you have liked our video let us know by liking it also share it with those who are not aware about gm crops so far particularly gm mustard which has been gaining a lot of of attention in the country and keep subscribing for more videos from Legacy IS.